Today we're going to use PowerScripts from C prime to create a select all function in a um, drop down list. So what do I mean by that? So if I hit create, I already created this custom field called colors. And here we have black, blue, brown, green, orange, a list of colors. What I would like to be able to do is just pick this select all. And then when the issues created, all these colors would have been selected. So I've already written the scripts. So let's take a look at what these are. So what we have is a uh, combination of two scripts. The first one is called select all in lists underscore watch. And this is the script that will run when the screen is loaded. And we call the LF watch function. And what that will do is check this custom field, which is, which is the colors list that I showed you. It'll, ch it'll keep an eye out on, it'll watch this custom field for any changes. That's the third parameter I passed, the fourth. And when a change occurs, it'll pass this value. This, you can pass multiple values like, um, you know, summary and description, whatever else you might need. And we're going to execute this second script. So that's what this script does. It, it watches a field, and when something happens to that field, it runs a second script. So our second script is this. Um, first thing we do is we grab the value of that colors custom field that we passed from the first function. So right here, we're passing the value of this to the, the, the next uh, script. So we're grabbing that value and we are creating a list of the colors. We are going to say, you know, this is all. When I say select all, this is exactly the colors I mean should be selected. So then we're checking if an array element exists because the value of C here, which is our colors array, or our colors select list, uh, I, I could have had select all in the color green. So there's multiple values. So I'm saying within that list that are actually selected, if select all is in there, we're going to set LF set the custom field to this list of colors. So it's actually pretty simple. Now, just because I've written the scripts doesn't mean it works. What we need to do is we need to activate it by creating what is known in PowerScript as a live field. So we do that. Um, we'll call this, well, we'll just call this examples project because I use this for multiple things. And we're going to pick the watcher screen, select all, uh, because it knows what the next step is. We don't need to specify the second script, just the first one, the examples project. So that's all we do. We, we give it a name. We point to the script we want to run when the screen is loaded. And the project. Now. Let's test it and hope it works. Because just because I've written scripts doesn't mean I've tested. So now if I say select all, boom, hey, look at that. It will automatically select all the colors for you. So there you have it. That is how you create a select all feature function uh, in a select list using PowerScript from C Prime. Thanks for watching.